Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you uh, how you can export uh, data from uh, the software Altispice. So uh, here I, uh, I created a circuit just to make the measurements of uh, diodes, uh, just to plot the characteristic uh, curve of a diode. Okay, so in Altispice uh, you can use the command step param e020.1. So this command uh, the command that allows me to, calcu to calculate step by step uh, the different values of the circuits uh, according to a parameter which is E here. E is a voltage at the source of my circuit and is going to vary between 0 and 2 with a step of 0 0.1. Dot op is a, another command uh, which is really important if you want to get the, the, sim the simulation to work properly. Uh, to deactivate the command you can use uh, uh, the, the sign here to, to deactivate the command tran here. So tran 0 0.1 here won't be activated. You run the simulation. After you, you carried out the measurements, you have here the voltage for the diode and the current that goes through the diode. Okay. Now what I want to do is to export the data in a TXT file. And for that, I'm going to click on the hammer. When I click on the hammer, here I have the data export tool, I'm going to click on it. And now you can see highlighted here the two data that I want to export. Here you have the name of the file, draft3.txt. So I'm going to click OK. I, I, already, I have already done it, so I'm going to click Yes. And now my file has been exported in a txt file. Now what I want to do is to export it in a CSV file in order to use it to plot uh, the curves. Okay, I'm going to use a Python script to do that. So let's go to Python. So here is uh, the software I use to, uh, to code my, uh, my script. So the first thing we're going to do is to look at the txt file. Okay, so let's go to the txt file here. I'm going to show you the it in my folder, so it's created here. I'm going to, to open it. And now we can observe, we have the first line, which is E, V, N, O, O, 2, E, D, 1, which are the three values we saved um, in the TXT file. E is a voltage at the source. V is a voltage for the diode. And I here is a current that goes through the diode. So I have here three columns that are separated by a tabulation. It's not a space here. We can see it's a, it's a tabulation. Okay, so it's really important uh, to know that uh, because we're going to try to make the, the script understand there is a, a tabulation that separates the different values. Okay, so now I'm going back to the code I used to, uh, to, uh, to export this txt file in a CSV file. Okay, so I'm going to use three libraries. The first library is here is uh, pandas. It is used a lot in data science uh, to, to manage files uh, like txt files and convert them in, in CSV files. So it's, re it's really useful for that. The second one is matplotlib by plot. I'm going to use it just to plot my, uh, my curve. And the last one is numpy. Numpy is a library for mass calculation. I'm, go I'm going to use it to do a small formatting of my values, okay? So first line of code here, it's a read file. I'm going to create a read file ici. Uh, I'm going to give the path of my file. And then the most important thing here is sep. Sep is going to give me the type of separation, the type of, of space between the different columns. Is here we noted it was a, a tabulation. So the backslash T here is to explain it's a tabulation. Skip rows. Here is to avoid some uh, some lines, and obviously in my uh, in my uh, file here, I don't want the first line with the names. I just I only need the, the the values here. Okay, the numbers. Now that I uh, read the txt file, I'm going to convert it in a CSV file. Okay, so I'm going to to call it a draft here. And after that, I'm going to, cr to create an array, which is called data here. And in this array, I'm going to name three columns, U, G, N, A, U, D, and I, D, for the different values of the, of the file, okay? So if I run these first three lines here, so uh, let's do it here. 
Now I'm going to have a data file. So here we're going to, to notice all the data, but I'm going to notice something weird for the first line, okay? When you check for ID, the exponent here is 0 0.1. I don't know, I don't have the explanation for it, but we're going to need to skip the, 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 this line, okay? So to do that, I'm going here, and I'm, go I'm going to skip the first two lines, okay? I run these lines again. Let's run it. Let's check for data. And now I'm going to start with the second line of data, okay? It's uh, minus 13 for the exponent here, so it's almost zero, so we can consider that the, the current is still at zero. So it's okay for this curve, okay? I will have to find out uh, what it is that way for, for other, uh, other data. Now I'm going to create two arrays, X and Y. Uh, here I'm going to use the colon UD of the data file, and for Y I'm going to use the colon ID of the data file. Now I'm going to do a little bit of formatting, okay? Just for Y. So in a loop that goes from range zero, zero to the length of the, uh, of the table. So uh, introducing the length of the array i, I'm going directly to know uh, how many values I have in the, in the loop uh, without uh, checking for the file, okay? So here I have the value at the i position in the y array. So it's uh, in y, you have ec, you have here uh, all the values, okay? So I'm going to format them with this uh, method from uh, the NumPy library is going to convert the value in a float format, give it the precision three, and then rewrite it at the same place uh, in, the, uh, in the array Y, okay? So let's give it a try to that, okay? So I'm going to do that. Let's run the code and let's check for here for why we have this, okay? So it's just with three figures after the point, so it's okay. Now I'm going to change for for two, for instance, just for to show you uh, how it works, maybe five or six, so, so you uh, a big difference. Let's run the, okay. And now let's check for the file here. And okay, you have more figures after the, after the point, okay? So it works, uh, it works correctly. I do that because I don't want my my uh, my plot to uh, to be uh, uh, unreadable because I have uh, too much numbers on my uh, on my file. Okay, now I'm going at, uh, at the end of the code. So now we are in the part of plotting. So I'm going to give it a title, uh, a title for the x-axis, and you can notice here I put my name between dollars. It's LaTeX. Uh, notation with this I can have uh, the word diod that is um, uh, properly written with the u and the same for the the y axis. Okay, then I'm going to use a scatter just to plot the points and I'm going to use the plus as a marker. Okay, and plt show is just here to to plot the curve. Okay, so now we're going to run this code. Everything looks okay. Here I have plots and I have a beautiful curve of the, it's in French here because I'm French, okay? So uh, I, I could have uh, gave uh, another name like uh, characteristic curves for the for the current uh, respect to tension for, for a diode, a, silic a silicium diode, okay? Now I can export it or save it as a picture and I can import it in, a, in my report, for instance, in LaTeX or another, uh, another word, uh, Word software, okay? So here it is, it's one of my first uh, video in English for electronics. I, I hope it will be useful for everybody who is uh, watching this video. See you later for, uh, for another video.